Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate every one of you, the comments, the subscribing, the watching, all of it. It really means a lot to me that you're all here learning on this journey to your healthy mouth. Today I want to talk to you about gingivitis. Gingivitis is a very common thing, but there is a huge difference between gingivitis and periodontitis, and I want to split them up into two different videos so you understand the difference between the two so we don't have like a 30 minute video here. So I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet and to the point, but I have a tendency to be pretty wordy and lengthy, so bear with me through this. But by definition, and I'm going to read it out of my little book here that I still have from hygiene school. So by definition, gingivitis is inflammation of the gingival tissue. <laughs> so what is your gingival tissue? I've talked about it before when I talk about the healthy of your mouth. The gum tissue inside of your mouth is about the size of the palm of your hand. So if you look at the size of the palm of your hand, that's about how much tissue encompassing the inside of your mouth. If you were to be inside your mouth, it would mean all of this gum tissue here that is surrounding the teeth, okay? So that's your gingiva. Your gingiva is your gum tissue. So that's the technical term for it. So again, let's reiterate here really quick. Every tooth in your mouth sits in bone. The gum tissue covers it all to protect it. So I have some really old school flip charts that I used to use that I absolutely love. Um, that they work so well. So if we just look at a healthy mouth, like take this for example. This is the probe, which if you watch my probing video, you'll know what that means. If you were to cut a tooth, it's not even cut a tooth in half. This is looking at the side of the tooth that's in between. This is what I mean. This is bone that your tooth sits into. All these little ligaments and stuff here, that's called your periodontal ligament. This is considered the nerve that's feeding to the inside of the tooth. This is the gingiva. This is what sits on the outside. This is what covers and protects the bone, and it's what covers and protects the tooth. So it's just like your skin. You don't see your muscles. You don't see your tendons. You don't see your veins or your arteries. Your skin is the outermost protective layer of our bodies. That's our gingiva inside our mouth. It's covering all of the underlying layers. So when we look at this and we look at healthy, this is pink, this probe depth is between one and three millimeters because that first line is, is three millimeters there. So this is what healthy is. It's pink, it's firm, there's no bleeding, everything looks good. When you get to gingivitis and simply gingivitis, this is where you have plaque and bacteria trapped under the gum tissue, around the gum tissue, around the teeth. It can sit on the outside of the teeth and it can sit down into the periodontal pocket. So again, this is our healthy side. This is our inflamed side. So now you can see our probe depth is up to a legit three millimeter. We're on the last one, we're at about a two. We don't cut, touch that black line. When we're into gingivitis, most of the time we see a three, and sometimes that black line's covered. If that black line's covered, we know that's a four millimeter pocket. So this is swollen, it's inflamed. That means there's bacteria that's sitting around the tooth here where the gum and the tooth meet or down into this pocket. A lot of people that have no bone loss because you see the bone level is still where it's supposed to be. There's no bone loss here. This is just inflammation of this. If you only have gingivitis, getting your teeth professionally cleaned is what will reverse that because what we're trying to do and what we're accomplishing in your cleaning it's getting the bacteria out of this pocket in the areas that you can't reach. And that's most of the time in between the teeth here, in between where people do not floss. So if you're not a consistent flosser or consistent water pick user, which you all know if you watch my other videos, I'm a huge fan of the water pick, then you know that you will have residual bacteria in between the teeth that's not getting disrupted and getting cleaned out. So it causes an infection. And if you look at this one, this would be what red, swollen gums look like. That's gingivitis. So if we wanna go back to healthy on this flip chart, we'll show you healthy on this flip chart. And this is just showing if you would chew one of those red tablets and put that disclosing solution on your teeth to show you where your plaque's at. So healthy mouth, teeth are sitting in the bone, we have no bone loss, everything's pink and healthy. But if you go to where you have gingivitis, again, red, swollen, no bone loss. This just means you need a thorough cleaning, you need to get the bacteria out of there, you need a dental professional to get down into these pockets to remove the plaque and the tartar. Because again, plaque is soft and sticky, tartar is hard. 
like coral. You cannot get it off at home. You need a dental professional to do that. That would mean that the dental professional needs to get into these areas down under here to clean everything out. So they need to get in here and clean this stuff out so that this way you remove the bacteria. Guess what? Your gingivitis disappears. It will come back if you don't consistently brush two times a day for two minutes at each time you brush and at least spend one minute of water picking or sometime flossing. If you have gingivitis and you have no bone loss and you have small pockets and if you go watch the periodontal probing video and you understand what a periodontal pocket is around the tooth and it kind of it correlates to this too it all meshes together if you have gingivitis and no bone loss and your pockets around your teeth are between one and three millimeters you can floss and it'll work for you if you go to periodontal disease which that'll be the next video then you will not get a fully effective result from flossing you need to use a water pick because your pocket depths are deeper because you have bone loss so that's the main difference between the two. But for gingivitis, you get a thorough cleaning from a professional. You maintain everything very well at home. Again, the mechanical removal, brushing, flossing, or water picking is what's going to keep your teeth clean. You have to do that every day on a consistent basis, and that's what keeps the bacteria away because you're not allowing it to grow and overgrow and cause an infection. Your gums are red if they're tender, and if they bleed easy, and if you say my gums never bleed, but you never pick up a piece of floss, or you're popping the floss just straight in between the teeth and you're not flossing correctly, again, watch the flossing video to know how to floss correctly. If you floss correctly and you rub that gum, if you, you, you're gonna rub the gum tissue when you clean the tooth, and if that gum tissue bleeds, well, guess what, you have gingivitis, because bleeding is a sign of infection, and healthy gums do not bleed. They don't bleed. If you have bleeding, you have bacteria present, period, end of story. That's all there is to it, because healthy gums do not bleed. I cannot say that enough. So that's the gist of gingivitis. It's very simple. It's red, swollen gums. They bleed easy. Most of the time, the plaque will sit right around the gum line and in between the teeth, because again, people will miss when they brush. So that's the gist of it. This is short and sweet, and I love it. So again, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate all of it. I appreciate everything. So I hope you enjoy. And if you have any other questions, always pop them in the comments and I'll get to you. I would love to answer you. That's gingivitis in a nutshell. So thanks for being here, guys, and I will see you soon.